and with schools, as Dr. Michael said, we've worked so well together. And I also think it's so significant to have counselors in the audience as well who guide our students in ways that we could never really fully understand. And, and this is National Counselors Appreciation Week. Um, if you didn't know that, it's really significant time to celebrate those heroes in our audience as well. And so um, I have the privilege and honor to introduce Appalachia High School star student. Um, she's also our system winner. And um, I have been the principal at Appalachia for five years now. And so Kelly was a freshman my second year. And she uh, joined the Chick-fil-A Leader Academy, uh, which was my first year doing that. It was our inaugural year. And she was a freshman, which was pretty bold. Um, it, it's an organization that a lot of our established students had joined. But for a freshman to come out and just throw her name in the hat, I thought, this is great, who's this young lady? And uh, not only did she join and become a part of something that I could teach every month um, and, and learn about her, but she led the whole thing. Uh, as a freshman, she created a sustainable project for her community, and I just um, have felt so challenged and honored to work alongside her as a student. Um, in fact, she is also the uh, interim uh, principal now. She is doing a, an internship with me, uh, and she sees me uh, just about every other day, and we spend time together learning about leadership, and she's helping me make decisions and, and learning. She wants to learn. Um, more about what leadership is and, and how to run an organization and how to be a part of a community. And so Kelly and I have spent four really solid years together and it's a great pride that I can stand here and speak about her today. Um, I'm going to let her talk here in just a minute and about her star teacher as well, but uh, she has been accepted to Georgia Tech and that's very exciting news. She's also awaiting a Duke um, acceptance. Uh, she's applied there as well. And so we're just really proud of all of her aspirations and just the sheer uh, joy she has at being an Appalachian Wildcat and also just a member of our community. Um, here with us today as family, very supportive. Um, a lot of families here today as well, and we couldn't do this um, without your support. And so I'm going to introduce Appalachian star student, Ms. Kelly Ike. Um, okay, hi, I'm Kelly. Um, I have the pleasure of introducing my star teacher. Uh, his name is Mr. Dion Muldrow. He's our band director at Appalachie. Um, and to explain a little bit about why he's my star teacher, we're going to take it all the way back to freshman year. So freshman year, I'm a little, little baby getting ready for marching band camp. And I'm not going to go. I'm crying, I'm pitching a bit, I'm not going to that. And I got there, because I went, I don't know why. And immediately he asked my name, and every day after that, followed up with me. Every day after that, asked me how I was doing, called me by my name, taught me that to be a leader, um, you have to know all the people you're with. You can't, you can't lead from up high and not know everybody at the bottom. Um, so that's, I guess, a basic introduction to why I chose him, because more than a grade on a piece of paper or an SAT score. He's taught me how to be a leader and he's the type of leader that I aspire to be. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna leave it at that because anything else I say, I'll just cry. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that, come on. <coughs> Mr. Young will come. It's always interesting to hear somebody talk about you to you. Yeah. Thank you, Kelly, uh, for that wonderful introduction. Um, I'm floored, as Dr. McMichael said, to be her hero. Um, I've never heard it said like that before. So when she told me, I was you know, humbled that she chose me because she's had so many great teachers and so many positive role models in her life. And I said, like, why did she choose me? And then I was told I had to speak about her. And I said, well, when you say about the star student, you know, we know that they're driven, they work hard, they make good grades, they're goal oriented. So what do you say? And I sat and I thought, Kelly's gonna change the world. And she's not gonna do it the way that we think. 
We assume that that valedictorian is going to go and they're going to go to that big school and they're going to make that GPA and they're going to cure cancer. She's going to do it through, do it through love and compassion. She's a selfless leader, unlike any that I've seen in quite some time. Um, she loves all the kids in our band program and she will do anything to make sure that they have what they need. I just want to give a couple of examples. Last week, we're getting ready to have jazz band. One of our young guys walks in. He's nervous because he's got to say, I can't come because, of course, I'm not going to be happy about that. And she's within earshot. She just goes, hey, I'll take you home. He didn't ask. She just heard. There was a need. She knew she could fulfill the need. She fulfilled the need. She even took somebody else home that really had no business being in her car because he doesn't treat her well. But she took him anyway. <laughs> Selfless love. She always has her hand on the pulse of the emotions of her friends. She will see somebody if they're direct. She'll be able to sit, have them talk to me, follow up with them. She'll make sure they're okay. Even if it's just to listen, or to offer a hug, or even just to smile. And what's most meaningful to me, and we all deal with this as adults, you have that moment, those days when you wake up, you're like, I'm just not knocking it out of the park today. Or I hadn't had a great week. Kelly can feel that type of stuff. She'll come to my office and she'll go, I appreciate you walk away. That type, those acts of selfless love, that compassion for others, that's how she's going to change the world. In a time when that's what we need, that's what Kelly brings. That changed our band program. Not because she was the, the knock it out the heart trumpet player. She's not a bad player, but she will admit that she doesn't practice. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> that class of band is a better world because of students like Kelly. She's model leadership for our young man like no one else. So Kelly, congratulations on being valedictorian and star student. And thank you for giving me the honor of being your hero. Thank you so much.